Welcome to Up to Date from Windows Vista in the Virtual PC box here to Windows 7, which is currently my main operating system. So let's begin. The first thing you'll notice, the difference, is the current background. So in Windows Vista it was a light background with bluery and yellowy colours and in Windows 7 it's got the Windows logo in the centre with some leafy looking things in the bottom left hand corner and kind of the same light effect with blue colours. So the back desktop background shouldn't make much of a difference to you. Okay now let's see what else. With icons, Windows 7 does have icons but I have just disabled them but it will have icons, everything is exactly the same there. Although, the recycle bin icon in Windows 7 is usually down in the bottom right hand corner. Now another thing you may have noticed is the start bar, or uh, the taskbar actually. The taskbar looks extremely different. First of all, let's um, open a program in uh, Vista. And now I'll open the same program in Windows 7. Okay, let's just move it like this. Okay, here we go. So, here's Notepad in Windows 7, and here it is in Windows Vista. The thing, main difference you'll notice is how the taskbar programs that are running are presented. So, let's just open a calculator as well, and I'll open Calc in Windows 7. Okay, so now I have Calc running as well. So here we go, you can see Notepad and Calculator running. And in Windows 7 you can see Notepad and Calculator running. And in Windows 7 you'll see you get... Uh, as soon as I put my cursor over the taskbar item, you see a little um, preview window a pop up. And if you put your cursor over this preview window, all the other windows on the desktop turn to glass except for the window you put your cursor over. So I can put the cursor over Calculator, and Calculator is now shown. So in Windows Vista, you don't have previews that you can click on like that, but if you do use Vista Aero theme, you are able to see previews, but you can't actually touch the thumbnail. So in Windows 7, they've moved on to letting you touch the thumbnail. Now, if I had... Okay, let, let's have a look. So to compare what it's like, in Windows Vista, they are long strips in the start menu with a small icon in the left corner and in the taking up the main dominant space is the text or the program's name. So we can see notepad in the calculator icon with the word calculator and it's a long strip. Problem with this is the taskbar can get filled up pretty fast. Now with Windows 7 you'll see down here I've got so many programs, not all of these are running by the way, think of um, this is a big massive quick launch, so here's quick launch, I can move windows around like this in quick launch, wait a sec, there we go, so that's quick launch there, kind of think of the taskbar of Windows 7 as a massive expanded quick launch, although you can actually, yeah you can move them around the same way you do, although they move a lot smoother and Basically, Quick Launch has been combined with the programs running, and as you can see, these programs are not running, but these ones are running as they've got a little box around them. And you can move between programs like that. Okay, so all that's happened is they've turned, they've expanded the, well, for instance, let's say Calculator. They've made the icon take up the full thing, and they've removed the text. So the icon is completely full and they've squashed it into a square shape. That's all that's gone on. From So from Vista to Windows 7, they've turned the rectangles into squares. That's all that's been done. And they've also put transparency into the taskbar, because the taskbar before, as you can see, was a dark colour. Now it's just a transparent glass-like colour. Okay, so uh, the time is still displayed at the bottom in both operating systems, as you can see and your programs that are running in the background are running as well so I've got quite a few running here uh, and now that we've done that let's look at the start menu itself so the start menu in Vista looks like this 
and the start menu in Windows 7 looks like this. Now as you'll see they are very similar. You've got your pinned programs at the top here in Vista and your pinned programs up here in Windows 7 so that's exactly the same. Your most recently used programs are put in the same place as they are in Vista. Uh, in Vista. Uh, your documents and stuff like that are in Vista, like around here, are exactly the same in Windows 7. And recent items and things the same as Windows 7. You can access your computer as well. Network, connect to. Basically everything is exactly the same. Um, apart from turning off your computer, so as you can see in Windows 7 you've got a big thing saying shut down here which expands out if you click the arrow to switch user, log off, lock, uh, restart, sleep and hibernate. Uh, in Windows Vista however you've got this red one which it, it um, closes all programs and t t shuts down your computer so this is kind of this red symbol here replaces shut down. Then you've got lock to temporary lock it which you would access in Windows 7 by going like opening the expanded menu and then uh, lock and then you've also got the expanded menu in Windows Vista which as you've seen is in Windows 7 okay so the start menu is basically a clone there is no difference whatsoever or well, almost whatsoever in the start menu you've got your all programs tab here which also runs exact same in Vista and I can open accessories and see my accessories I can do the same in Windows 7 accessories and there are your accessories so the start menu the way it works is exactly the same programs open in the start menu the same way the start menu responds the same way so everything there is the same but one thing I haven't covered is the sidebar which is this thing here in Vista so the sidebar has a little gadget such as a clock, um, a photo gallery, and sticky notes, which uh, you can write whatever you want here. Okay, so that's there, and I can add more sticky notes and delete them. And I can also add gadgets and have look from a classic collection of gadgets here and add what I want. So I might want a CPU meter, which I'll put there. But on Windows 7, you'll notice there is none for Windows 7. As you can see, Windows 7 does not have a sidebar. Now one way we can um, show you how this works is by in Vista showing one feature of what the sidebar can do. So I can grab something from the sidebar, put it on the desktop if I wanted. So that's one useful thing about the sidebar. So anything can be moved to the desktop. Now think about the sidebar and moving things to the desktop just like in Windows 7 so if you wanted to do that in Windows 7 if you wanted to have gadgets and stuff on your desktop I just type in gadgets gadgets desktop gadget gallery and now you can see this transparent window I have open in Windows 7 I can grab a clock put it on the desktop I can grab a CPU meter, uh, meter and put it on the desktop a calendar and put it on the best desktop it's actually a tongue twister but anyway as you can see I can put items on the desktop and just like in Vista how you can customize stuff like if you want to change what the clock looks like you can change it just like that so there you go so Windows 7 is exactly the same is as the way it actually stores desktop items except there's no more sidebar so the sidebar has been replaced with desktop gadgets so let's um, continue now. Um, I'm going to remove these gadgets by just pressing X on them. And I'll put these gadgets back into the menu there, uh, sidebar. So now that we've basically looked through the whole operating system, let me show you a few features that can be done in Windows 7. So let's um, first open a few things. I'm going to open Paint. I'm going to open Notepad and I'm going to open hmm, what's something else and I'll open math input panel and then I can do stuff in this like that anyway obviously I'm um, there 
recognition in math input panel in Windows 7 isn't the best because that obviously says 7 plus 6 equals and obviously not 7 plus R uh, equation sign. But anyway, let's move on to the real issue or the real feature here is the uh, start tab. So start tab, I can hold start and do tab and I am able to see all the programs currently running and switch between them by holding start, the start button, and pressing tab. And that will switch me between them and when I go to one I want, I just take my finger off. So I'm going to quit these now. Now let's look at um, the start bar stacking. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open notepad and notepad and notepad. So three, <coughs> oh, sorry that scared me. Uh, just wait a sec. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's move on to these three notepads now. I'm going to minimize Vista right now because we're no re longer really looking at Vista. We've moved on to Windows 7. So, okay, here's three notepads. I'm going to write in one notepad. Uh, this is notepad. Uh, I am doing this as a test. And for the last one, this tutorial has been made for web links. Okay, so I've got three windows here of Notepad. And as you'll see at the bottom, these three windows have been combined into one taskbar item. And if I put my cursor over it, the three windows appear like this and I can change which window I'm looking at just by moving my cursor over the open windows. Okay, I'm going to quit these now, and, and I can quit all of them by right-clicking and clicking close all windows, like that. Okay, so now let's move on to another feature of Windows 7, which is being able to actually make it look like an older version of Windows. I'm just going to quit uh, Math Input Panel, and Daemon Tools, just so we have a bit of room here. Now let's see what how to make it look like Vista. So in Vista we have, when you have programs, we have these long uh, taskbar items. If you want to do that in Windows 7, right click the taskbar and click properties. So this is what you'd want to do if you wanted to make it look like an older version of Windows that you are more familiar with. So here we see um, always combine and hide labels. Click never combine and then click apply. Now as you can see, we can see the labels but and some letters but what we've got to do we've got to click use small icons and click apply now we can see that it is very very similar to windows vista so the programs are now quite long just like they were in windows vista yet there's still taskbar grouping going on here between these two here and there's still alpha lighting systems going on because vista didn't have alpha lighting Okay, so let's uh, look now at this. So, this does look like Vista, but some people might be thinking, okay, I still aren't used to this. I'm, I've am i just upgraded from uh, Windows 95, or I'm still using Windows Classic Theme. Well, don't worry, as Windows Classic Theme is still in this operating system, you just click Personalize, then go down and find Windows Classic. Click and everything now is the exact same. It's Windows Classic. So as you can see, I'm in Windows Classic. You can see in this uh, virtual PC window I have here, it's all the classic look, the um, classic um, blue, dark blue to light blue gradient at the top of the window. The start bar is completely, basically what it was like back then in Windows Classic's time, and the start button is exactly the same. So Oh, and this is also almost like quick launch right now. So basically, this Windows 7 can be used like Windows 95 or whatever operating system you want to think about that uses Windows Classic theme. I can also click the Start button, which brings up the Start menu, but this does not actually follow the Windows Classic Start menu, but it is pretty similar. But anyway, that is Windows 7.